I'm going to show you how to set up an SDDC today. Before we get started with the deployment, we're going to want to go through the checklist for onboarding. First and foremost, you're going to need to make sure you have a My VMware account and password and make sure that the profile is completely filled out. This is what your My VMware account profile should look like. And everything with a red asterisk next to it needs to be filled out, otherwise your org will not be able to be created. Next, you're going to want to have an AWS account login and also know the region that you're going to deploy your SDDC within AWS. You're going to need to also have a VPC with a unique subnet with either slash 27 IP address or slash 26, depending on your scalability requirements. We also recommend that you have a subnet in each availability zone within the region you are deploying. You need to have a management subnet to use for the SDDC that is unique and that is a slash 20 IP address or a slash 16 on your enterprise network depending on scalability requirements. This will not be able to be changed after you deploy your SDDC. And also, if you're interested in using a slash 23, this will not work with HCX. Make sure that you have an IPsec VPN endpoint to connect the SDDC to, and know which networks on premise you will be connecting to the management IPsec VPN. Also make sure that you have the public IP of the on-premise VPN endpoint. This is important because the IPsec VPN is always required when connecting to an on-premise network, even when Direct Connect is being used. The only time an IPsec VPN would not be used is if the SDDC was to be only accessed over the internet for both management and workloads. Finally, you're going to want to know your options for getting VM workloads into your new SDDC. They can be accessed over the internet without a, any additional configuration other than setting up firewall rules, or they can be routed over an IPsec VPN to an on-premise network. They can also be L2 extended with L2 VPN to NSX or standalone edge on-premise, or you can use HCX, and that can be L2 extended to your on-premise HCX gateway. You can also build from scratch with content library synced templates. If you need more information on this, there will be links to documentation that can further explain this within your SDDC welcome emails. Okay, now we can start the deployment of your SDDC. First, you're gonna to wanna to click the link sent to you in your activation email. You should only use the email address associated with the activation link or that the activation link was sent to. This is where your MyVMware account login information becomes important. Next, you're going to want to click Create New Organization and then Name Your Organization. You will then agree to the Terms of Service and then enter your payment method now. Then click Create SDDC, and this will take you to the first part where you're going to connect your AWS environment to your SDDC. This is where you're going to need your AWS login information. As soon as you click, the Open AWS Console with CloudFormation template, it'll take you straight over to AWS where you will log in. Next, you're going to want to acknowledge that AWS CloudFormation might create some resources, and this template will appear, which just means that it's creating the connection to your SDDC environment. As soon as you pop back over to the VMC console, you'll see that the connection was successfully established and your first step is done. Next, you're going to want to choose the region of which you're going to deploy your SDDC, name it, and then choose the number of hosts. Next, you're going to choose your VPC. Remember, your VPC needs to be in the same region that you're deploying your SDDC. Then choose a subnet. Remember, you need to have a subnet in each availability zone in the region in which you are deploying.
Next, you're going to want to input your management CIDR block. This can't be changed after deployment. After you click Deploy SDDC, you will have to wait about two hours for your SDDC to fully deploy. If at any time during the deployment process you have any troubles or any additional questions, you can click the small icon in the right-hand corner and talk to one of our engineers. They are available Monday through Friday, 24 by 7. Following the deployment of your SCDC, there are a few items that can help you to start the initial configuration. In the Getting Started Guide, you can click the 10 things you need to know, and this is a tour that will walk you through your SCDC and help you with some initial configuration options that you can do. As soon as you hover over one of the items, it'll give you a little bit of additional information. Going back over to the Getting Started Guide, this will show you the top six items to start your initial configuration. This will conclude your SDDC deployment and initial configuration. Hopefully this was helpful.